guys would bow your heads with me. Let's uh, start the morning off right and turn it over to the Lord. Father, I just come before you today and just thank you for this group that you brought here. Pray that uh, they would have open hearts and open minds to hear uh, the various ministries, our keynote speaker, and that they would leave here changed, that there would be something different today uh, about them as they leave versus when they came. So, Lord, we're excited to see what you might do. And we just uh, lift this time up to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. I have a question for you. How many of you ever wake up on Sunday morning and say, turn to your spouse and say, honey, do you really want to go to church today? Am I the only one? <laughs> well, I can tell by the chuckles that there's some, some honest people out here and a lot of you that are feeling guilty. I've, I found an alternative that I wanted to share with you. So if you guys would watch this video, that'd be great. Tired of having to wake up, get dressed, and drive across town just to attend your favorite service? Introducing Virtual Reality Church. Start by choosing a church building that meets your needs. Tired of the stress of having to choose a Sunday morning outfit? Never make a fashion mistake again, because Virtual Reality Church will style you based on your denomination. Not a people person? Select the introvert experience to completely eliminate the welcome team, meet and greet time, connect cards, and that awkward hold hands with the person next to you thing we still do. Next, personalize your morning by choosing the worship experience that you want. Feeling a touch of white guilt? Add a minority worship leader. Custom options even let you tailor the skinniness of your worship leader's jeans. Finally, no more having to endure songs that you don't like. With Virtual Reality Church, you're in charge. For the sermon, choose the amount of conviction you'd like and we'll select a pastor for you. We'll even let you tailor your sermon topics so you'll never have to attend a Vision Sunday or a sermon series on giving. And never worry again about dozing off during the sermon. With Virtual Reality Church, you can sleep as long as you want. Kids being bad in nursery? Who cares? Worried about missing a football game? Enter your favorite team and we'll provide notifications when the game is starting. Never miss a kickoff again. Want to go for it for prayer? Well, if you selected a Pentecostal service, always stand in front of a mattress. Even connect your social media accounts and we'll post for you. Get credit for being super spiritual all from the comfort of your couch. Finally, an option for people asking the question, how can I make Sunday morning even more about me? Virtual Reality Church, the future of church attendance. Now, I can tell that you guys are a little too spiritual. <laughs> okay, we had a contest today. We had a contest to see uh, for members, it's for me uh, Barnabas Group partners, to see how many uh, people with blue tags. The blue tag people are our, our guests today. How many of those did you go over, shake their hands, and welcome them? And, and that, I, I heard somebody had a great idea. Come up here to the welcome area when, the, when <laughs> Bill and, yeah, th that doesn't count. All right, that doesn't count. So how many times, how many people's hands did you shake? So if you shook at least five people's hands today with the blue tags, you're on your honor, stand up. You should be a, a partner, so stand up if you shook five, okay? All right, now, that's pretty good. All right, that's, that's good, all right. Now, stay standing if you hit seven. Wow. All right, how about nine? How about... 11. Okay, how many between you two guys? <coughs> 35. <laughs> What'd you stand at the entrance, Lindsay? <laughs> Come on up, Lindsay. Oh, Justin, how many did you get? Okay, 37 gets it. Okay, now, how many people here know Lindsay? How many people believe Lindsay? <laughs> well, who is the Barnabas Group? If you're a guest here today, you probably wonder, you know, what did I get drug into? Why, did I, why am I here? Let me give you the elevator speech for the Barnabas Group so you know what it's all about. We hope to provide a platform that allows the Holy Spirit to draw partners and attendees closer to the Lord so that they are blessed as they bless the kingdom. And we do that through connecting leaders and changing lives. That's connecting business and ministry leaders and changing lives. So if you were invited here today by a Barnabas Group partner, that means that they thought you would make a good partner as well. And we hope that by the end of the morning that you would agree that you want to be a partner and you want to be a partner for a long, long time and that you decide to join. If you would grab the feedback or the handouts in the middle of the table, everybody, if you grab a handout, I want to kind of go through some important information in those handouts. 
as we said, we want to connect leaders changing lives. One of the ways that we do that is by connecting you with the people that will present today. If you would turn to page three, page three, we talk about the feedback forms. Each ministry that presents today will have a feedback form. We would ask that you would fill those feedback forms out, that you would print your name, your email address, and your phone number legibly. I got to see some of those feedback forms uh, yesterday, and I know San Diego probably doesn't write as well as Orange County, but make sure they're legible, all right? Uh, at the top, there's numbers across the top from 0 to 10. We'd ask that you would circle those numbers. 10 if you want to be contacted right away by the ministry. Uh, you need to talk to them right away. Or 0 if you just want to leave some information for them, but you don't need to be contacted immediately. Drop those forms. There'll be uh, trays, black trays at the area where you checked in, and there'll be one tray for each ministry. So drop those forms in those trays. The ministries will pick them up, and then they will call you in the next few days, I'm sure, and, and follow up up with you. We'll have a minute at the end of every uh, presentation where I will pray for each ministry and we'll give, give you time to complete those feedback forms. A couple guidelines for those forms is that you don't need to do a feedback form for everybody. We ask that you do a feedback form. It, maybe they encouraged you. Maybe they said something that challenged you or something that you would never known. It's a good uh, help to them to let them know that because they use these presentations and they can build off these presentations to do better in the future. So by telling them that, that's a big help to them. Maybe you know someone that they need to talk to who isn't here today, but that would be the ideal person that would help their ministry. Put that person's name down, their uh, email address, phone number, and then let them know why they should contact that person. We get a lot of that, and that's a big, big help to the ministry. The other thing I would uh, ask is call them back when they call you, okay? Call them back when they call you. If you turn the page over to page four, Debbie McMaster, where's Debbie uh, sitting? Debbie, would you stand up? Debbie's in the back here. Debbie is hosting uh, Nancy DeMoss Wolgamuth uh, to help her do a, a, a meeting, and she needs some help with that. So if you're here and you're a, a lady and you would like to help Debbie with this uh, uh, meeting, you want to host it at your house, please see Debbie at the uh, end of the, or the break or the end of the day. She's back there, and that would be a big blessing to her. Lots of information on that, page four. On page five, there's some information on the Proclaim Conference. It's coming up here from March 26th through the 29th. It'll be in Anaheim, the National Religious Broadcasters. Rarely gets out to the West Coast. They typically do it back east, and uh, you get a lot of people attending. If you look at the the folks that are, are uh, presenting there, it's a kind of a who's who of, of various Christian speakers. So it's a good opportunity for you to go and, and attend that because it's right here in our backyard. You don't need a plane ticket or a hotel room, but uh, you can get to that March 26th through the 29th. Page 7, if you know someone who would make a great associate partner, please let John Sissel know. John, where are you at? John, you want to stand up? John's over here. John's in charge of the, of the associate pa partner program, and if you would just let him know, that would be great. Okay, that would be a big help to him. On page 9, last year we did a, a seminar with John Pearson on board development for nonprofits, and a great seminar. We, uh, we don't, there, it's free to Barmer's Group partners and to the ministries we serve, but we did sell out for, it's free, as I said, but we did fill it up. It was had 75 people. So we're going to do it again this year. It'll be at Concordia University on April 23rd. It'll be a four-hour seminar. So you can start signing up for that now, but that will fill up. Okay, so uh, I would, if you want to go, make sure that you do uh, get on that. Page 11, our SWAT team, Alan Weisenberg. Where's Alan? Alan's over here. Alan runs our SWAT team meetings, and I always promote these because if you have never done a SWAT team meeting, you really have to go do one, and you will find that God will use you. You'll meet some really great people. You get to see how people uh, think and work, and, and you'll have a blast. So sign up for those SWAT team meetings when they, they come out. On page 13, we've got the Orange County Mayor's Prayer Breakfast coming up here on March 15th from uh, 7 to 9. It'll be over here at the Hotel Irvine. Barmer's Group's going to get a couple tables, so look for an email because we'll, 20 partners will be able to go to that uh, uh, as our guests. So uh, make sure that if, you, if you're not one of those 20, you can still get a ticket and uh, be there. It should be a great, great morning. On page 15, we've got our El Adobe Night coming up on uh, April 8th from 4.30 to about 8.45. And we've, by popular demand, we've got Johnny Ace Palmer, who was a, a world champion uh, magician. He's going to be there. He was there a couple years ago. People loved him, and so we've had a lot of people ask him to, 
to have him back. He's actually going to be there to walk around as we're out in the patio and do his close-up magic, which he won the world championship for. So if you like card tricks and you like to be amazed, make sure you go because, I mean, that guy is really, really good. Okay, Johnny Ace Palmer and Kristen Orphan, who has a ministry that has presented here before, will actually be the band that we'll be playing. She's played in the past and is excellent. So it'd be a lot of fun, fun night. Uh, partners, you can bring guests to this if you want. Uh, two guests is the max. And uh, so look for that. Also, our grandparenting conference. We've got our grandparenting conference, Legacy Coalition, presented last year. And uh, uh, we want to make a point. We have a lot of people that were interested in that ministry. But their grandparenting conference is coming up here in Fullerton. February 21st through the 23rd. February 21st through the 23rd. That information is on page 17. Between pages 20 and 24, there's three different ministries that are looking for positions. You might check that out because if you know someone that's looking to work for a ministry, there's three different ministries that have some job opportunities in there.